number 28. On the 5th of October 1971, the remains of a male aged between 30 and 50 years old were found washed ashore on Lydon Sea. He was 173 centimetres tall and of a medium build. He was wearing a pair of blue striped trousers and a blue sock on his right foot. Number 27. A white female's body aged between 45 and 55 years old was recovered from Folkestone Harbour on the 3rd of January 1979. It's believed she had been dead for several hours. She was 155 centimetres tall of a thin build with grey coloured hair and grey coloured eyes. She had a surgical scar on her abdomen. She was wearing a brown anorak, yellow jumper and brown tights. Number 26. On the 23rd of October 1979, the body of a female was found in woodland at Bedgeberry Forest. She was aged between 30 and 35 years old with shoulder length straight brown hair with hazel eyes. She was of a thin build and was wearing a white two and a half inch fabric belt, black shoes, a black floral dress, yellow blouse and a black polo neck jumper with off white shoulders. Number 25. A white male body aged between 30 and 45 years old was found on the beach at the bottom of Shakespeare Cliffs on the 7th of October 1980. It is believed the male had jumped from the top. He had nicotine stained fingers suggesting he was a smoker. He was 198 centimetres tall of a slim build with curly dark brown hair and was clean shaven. He was wearing a fawn zip up St Michael's casual jacket two v-neck jumpers, one size 40 to 42 inches and the other 42 inch chest, grey trousers, a brown leather belt and grey socks. Number 24. A 60 to 65 year old white male was recovered from the sea off the Dover coast on the 24th of October 1980. He was 168 centimetres tall and of a thin build. He had grey and brown hair and brown eyes. He had previously been seen in the local public house carrying the Evening Standard and a briefcase. He was wearing size 8 black shoes, mushroom coloured socks, brown trousers, cream shirt, St Michael's brown zip up cardigan size 50, a blue pattern tie, a Dun & Co single breasted jacket and a blue Burton raincoat. Number 23. On the 10th of January 1981, a 30 to 60-year-old white male was found on the railway line between Dunton Green and Otford, having been struck by a train. It is believed he may have been homeless. He was 167 centimetres tall, with thin and dark brown hair. He was wearing a three-quarter length grey overcoat, a dark blue jacket, brown woolen cardigan, mauve shirt, black and blue pattern tie, dark brown cord trousers, black leather shoes and a purple neck scarf. Number 22. A 155 centimetre tall dark European male was found on the grass embankment at the side of the A20 at Hothfield on the 25th of May 1983. He was aged between 45 and 60 years old, was of a medium build, had grey and black hair and grey eyes. He had several scars, one on his right arm, another on his right leg and one on the left leg. He was wearing a maroon checked shirt, a black v-neck jumper, mauve t-shirt and grey trousers. He had died from an overdose. He had with him a small tent, camping equipment and correspondence from Australia. Number 21. On the 6th of February 1984, a white male aged between 40 and 60 years old was found in the old gatehouse of Ingress Abbey. He was 183 centimetres tall, of a thin build with grey and dark brown hair, brown eyes and a moustache. He was wearing brown trousers, a beige jumper, black shoes and a light grey overcoat. He had died from hypothermia and was believed to have been a vagrant. Number 20. The body of a white male aged between 30 and 50 years old was recovered from the English Channel on the 6th of August 1984. It is believed he had been dead for two to three weeks and that he was a French fisherman. He was 183 centimetres tall, of a large build, with short light brown hair and a moustache. 
He was wearing open brown sandals, blue jeans, a green nylon waterproof jumper, a maroon t-shirt and a beige fisherman's jumper. Number 19. On the 8th of June 1985, a 60 to 100 year old white male's body was washed ashore at Herne Bay. He is believed to have been in the water for up to three months. He showed signs of heart disease. He was 163 centimetres tall and of a medium build. He was wearing a grey vest and a blue heavy cotton shirt. Number 18. The body of an oriental male aged between 20 and 40 years old was found at the bottom of the cliffs at Fan Bay on the 2nd of July 1986. It is believed the male had taken his own life. He was 178 centimetres tall and of a stocky build. He had booked into East Cliff Hotel on the 27th of June 1986. He had on him a bottle of prescription tablets which had been issued by a Hong Kong doctor. Number 17. On the 27th of October 1987, the body of a white male aged between 45 and 60 years old was recovered from the sea at the foreshore near Deal Pier. He was 183 centimetres tall of a medium build with receding mousy brown hair. He wore a thin gold chain, blue cord and nylon jacket, red and navy blue polo neck jumper, blue cord trousers which were made in Hong Kong and navy blue socks. Number 16. The body of an Asian male aged between 35 and 45 years old was found on the beach in Folkestone on the 3rd of July 1988. He was 163 centimetres tall and of a medium build. He had been in the water for approximately two weeks. He was wearing a sleeveless red jumper with black trim, a black and beige striped t-shirt, a red sweater and a nylon polo neck jumper. Number 15. On the 16th of November 1989, the body of a white male aged between 18 and 25 years old was recovered from the River Medway at Aylesford. He was 170 centimetres tall, of a medium build and had greying black hair. The body was believed to have been in the water for approximately one week. He was wearing blue jeans, a blue jacket with a brown collar, high-tech white trainers with a blue flash, and a cream t-shirt with cute orange lettering on the front and the word rage on the back. He was also wearing one Casio watch and a necklace with an arsenal tag. Number 14. The body of a white male diver aged between 16 and 60 years old was recovered by a passing ship and brought to shore at Dover on the 3rd of October 1992. He was between 170 and 178 centimetres tall and of a medium build. It is believed he had been in the water for several months. He was wearing a black dry diving suit with a blue V-shaped crest area, black and cream flippers which were made in Italy and a purple all-in-one under the dry suit which was made by Heli Hansen. Number 13. On the 26th of October 1995, the remains of a white male aged between 20 and 35 years old were washed ashore at Sandgate. He was 177 centimetres tall and of a medium build. It is believed he had been in the water for up to six weeks. He was wearing a black high neck sweater, blue jeans and a light coloured sport tech V trainers with Velcro fastenings. Number 12. An oriental male aged between 25 and 30 years old was found in a hotel room in Margate on the 27th of September 1996. The cause of death is a suspected overdose. The man checked into the hotel and gave the name Kira Sarawa and was asked not to be disturbed. He had a scar on the left side of his neck, missing upper teeth and a squint in his right eye. Number 11. On the 5th of November 1997, the remains of a decomposed male body were recovered from the sea near the Dover docks. He was aged between 35 and 45 years old with grey and brown hair. It is believed he had been in the water for at least six weeks. He wore mainly French made clothing and it is suggested he may have been a French fisherman. He was wearing a white jumper which had the sleeves cut off, blue green t-shirt and blue underpants.
Number 10. A body of 182 centimetre tall, medium built male was found at the bottom of Dover Cliffs on the 7th of July 1998. He had straight black hair. It is believed he had been dead for approximately 10 days and his injuries were consistent with a fall from a height. He was wearing Blue Ridge Color Blue denim jeans, a brown leather belt, black baseball boots size 8.5, and, and white socks. Number 9. On the 10th of June 1999, a body of a male was recovered from the sea at Dover. He was aged between 25 and 35 years old, was 182 centimetres tall and of a stocky build. He had cropped ginger hair and brown eyes. His injuries were consistent with a fall from a great height. Number 8. A body of a white male aged between 16 and 49 years old was found in the English Channel on the 18th of June 2000. He was 177 centimetres tall and of a medium build. He had two dental caps on his front teeth. It is believed he had been in the water for approximately six weeks. He is wearing a short-legged Tiger wetsuit, a rubber belt and rubber slip-on shoes. Number seven. On the 10th of August 2000, the body of a female aged between 35 and 45 years old was found at the bottom of the cliffs of Dover. She was 163 centimetres tall, of a thin build with short black hair and green brown eyes. It's believed she had fallen from above, as property found at the top of the cliff is believed to have belonged to her. She was wearing flat heeled Chelsea ankle boots, a short black pinstripe skirt, blue black jacket, a black belt with a yellow buckle, black shirt and black rider's hat. She was also wearing a pearl necklace, a limited brand watch and six rings, none on her wedding finger. 60 pounds was found stuffed down her bra. She also had tourist information on Oxford, lipstick, a purse, half a bottle of vodka and a handbag with the name Christina May inside. Number six. The body of a white male aged between 20 and 50 years old was found in the River Medway at Strood on the 18th of May, 2021. He was between 177 and 182 centimeters tall of a medium build with short dark hair. It's believed he may have been in the water for two to three months. He was wearing a short brown trapper leather jacket, blue denim redwood shirt, jeans, blue socks and a black Dickham Casablanca footwear. Number five. On the 25th of October 2001, the remains of a male aged between 16 and 100 years old were found at the base of the cliffs at Dover. He was 182 centimetres tall with black hair. It's believed he had been in the water for several months, possibly one year. He was wearing a black low alpine fleece, size XL, which was made in Ireland, a light coloured long sleeve shirt, blue Levi 501 jeans, a Levi belt with a metal white buckle and blue and white night trainers size 11. Number four. The body of a male aged between 35 and 60 years old was found in the North Sea, 15 miles off Ramsgate on the 20th of July, 2002. He was 182 centimeters tall of a large build and had thin and dark hair. He was wearing a short sleeve beige shirt, black trousers with turn ups black Clark's loafers, size seven to eight, and a white vest. Number three. On the 1st of August, 2007, a white male's body fell 150 feet from a viaduct into a road. He was aged between 20 and 40 years old, 172 centimeters tall, of a medium build, with brown collar length hair, blue eyes, and a goatee. He had faint marks on the inside of his left wrist area, a surgical scar on his left arm, which ran from the elbow to the shoulder, and a three dot tattoo on his left arm. Number two. On the 13th of September, 2013, a male body aged between 40 and 60 years was pulled from Ramsgate Harbour at 0800 hours. He was 175 centimetres tall, bold, and was clean shaven. It's estimated he died on the 6th of September, 2013. He was found floating 300 yards from the harbour 
and it would appear he'd been in the water for about a week. Most of his clothing had French labels. He was found wearing a blue outer jacket, grey and white body warmer, blue jumper and check shirt. He was wearing a silver coloured swatch watch. He had two mobile phones wrapped in a plastic bag. One was an iPhone, the other was an LG phone. Number one. A male's body aged between 50 and 70 years old was found in a field near Hollow Lane, Canterbury. He was between 165 and 167 centimetres tall, of a slim build with short white hair, blue eyes and a full beard. It is believed he had died approximately 48 hours earlier on the 1st of February 2017. He had died from natural causes. He wore multiple shirts, green and brown cords and multiple ties. He had in his possession an oyster card, a book titled Clinical Theology, a theological and psychological basis to clinical pastoral care by Frank Lake and a black cabin style suitcase containing toiletries. It is possible he spent time in London in the weeks prior to his death. He also wore dentures on his upper gum. If you have any information on any of these cases we've covered, then please visit missingpersons.police.uk forward slash en hyphen gb forward slash case hyphen search forward slash m2b64. Thank you.